This guy is probably the most sympathetic of any Batman villain. Hey guys, today I'll be giving you the comic book origins of Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is one of Batman's most iconic foes, as he runs along the lines of such icons such as the Joker, Riddler, Scarecrow, and Clayface. But, he's also the most sympathetic of all of them because of his actions and why, he, and why he's done them. His real name is Victor Freeze, and during his youth it was quite troubling for him. He had a hobby of freezing animals, fearing that they would once that they would one day die. This actually sickened his parents, and they sent him off to a boarding school where he was treated as an outcast. But it was there that he met the love of his life, a woman named Nora. <laughs> After they married, she'd fallen ill with a very rare disease, and quite fatal one as well. In order to in order to afford the medical care for her, he took a job at Gotham, at the Gotham Laboratory, where he created revolutionary cryogenic work. Cryogenics is work with cold. But, realising that the medical care wasn't working for Nora, he had an idea of freezing her body until a cure was actually found. Whilst attempting this, the authorities had actually discovered this and broke into his lab. The security guards had threatened to unplug his experiment and end up killing Nora. But Freeze put up a fight and actually a bullet hit, hit a canister and he was frozen in his laboratory as well. <laughs> Thinking he was dead, he emerged, he emerged a while later completely frozen and unable to survive out of a sub-zero environment. He fashioned himself a suit which would keep him alive as long as it was kept at full capacity. In fact, it only worked by the power of diamonds. That's right, he had to steal diamonds in order to power his suit. About a year later, he went after his former employers, who had kept Nora alive in cryosleep just so they could make a profit. When Batman intervened, Victor had discovered that he had a that he could have a new goal as well as keeping Nora alive: the death of the Cape Crusader. The two of them would cross paths multiple times, and Fat Freeze would sometimes team up with Batman, thinking it would be the logical choice. He's even stopped himself from doing cruel actions in thinking that it's not what Nora would have approved of. In fact, when he's taken to Arkham Asylum, they have a cell already set up for him, which is kept at a refrigerated state so that he doesn't die. We've seen Freeze several times in the Arkham games in the 60s TV series, and also portrayed by Arnold Schwarzenegger in 1997's Batman and Robin, which was... Oof, that's terrible. But, Freeze remains one of my favourite Batman villains, and I have to say, his first appearance in Gotham actually uh, looked more like Captain Cold. But when we saw his newer outfit, that looks more like Freeze to me. But that is it for Mr. Freeze. Guys, be sure to like and subscribe and comment what you think down below. I'm coming tomorrow to give you more origin stories. See you guys.